Lokaguro, today we're going to have our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to accomplish our IPCRF with sample part 4 answers. Pero bago tayo mag-proceed, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa aming susunod na mga video. Ito yung prescribed electronic IPCRF na sinend sa akin ng rater ko. After checking my portfolio, na-record niya po, in-include niya po yung rating ko sa IPCRF at sinend niya sa akin. So, ito na po yun. Part 1 shall be accomplished by the rater. After the rater is done with the part 1, she will lock it. Then send it to his or her ratee. The ratee will only accomplish part 2 and part 4 of the IPCRF. As you can see, may score na po per TRA per objective etong IPCRF form natin. So, ito yung binigay ni Rater kay teacher. Ang final rating na nakuha ni teacher is 4.750 and that is outstanding. Makikita natin sa baba after the word plus factor ang lock, meaning we cannot change our rating. Only the rater has the access to change our score. Note, when COT and QET ratings are done, give the file copy to the teacher and the teacher shall accomplish parts 2 and 4 of the IPCRF. Part 2 is all about core behavioral competencies. Part 2 shall be accomplished by the ratee after the rater accomplished part 1. Just tick the box of the competency indicator demonstrated during the performance cycle. We have here self-management, professionalism and ethics, service orientation, teamwork, result focus, and innovation. To save your data, just click Finalize Part 2. Then, you can now proceed to Part 4, which is Developmental Plan. The basis in answering Part 4 is the results of Part 1 and Part 2. After finalizing Part 2, the rating must enter a password. After encoding our password, just click Go. And our data now has been saved. Yung part 1 coefficient, ito na yung IPCRF natin, which is generated from the answers from part 1, yung sinagutan narrator. Let's click part 2. Ito na yung part 2 summary natin, summary of results which is core behavioral competencies generated from the answers a while ago. Let's click part 3. Part 3 is the IPCRF summary sheet, summary sheet for discussion. Part 4 is development plans. Note, this sheet shall be accomplished during... Phase 1, Performance Planning and Commitment based on the results of ESAT. 2, Performance Monitoring and Coaching based on the agreements on the Performance Monitoring and Coaching Form. 
and for performance rewarding and development planning based on the actual results of the IPCRF. In short, in order to answer this part 4, we need the results of ESAT. We need to accomplish electronic self-assessment tool and part 2 and part 3 of the IPCRF which is sinagutan na namin kanina. Sa part 4, meron tayong sagot ng strengths, development needs, action plan, timeline, and resources needed. Under strengths, functional competencies, and core behavioral competencies. We will show you sample of the accomplished part 4. Note, when all parts of the IPCRF are accomplished, the ratee must submit the file copy of his or her IPCRF electronic form to the department head or school head for the school-wide consolidation. He or she must print all the pages of this form and submit to the personal division of the school to be attached to his or her 201 personal file. So just click Finalize Part 4 to save your data. After saving your data, you can send it to your school head or to your rater. Print also your part 1 to part 4 of your IPCRF and send it to the personal division for your 201 personal file.